Hello everyone. Thanks for the follow. <coughs> Just so that there was no sound because uh, because well I cut the sound obviously. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Uh, before to start, you can bet for your champion <coughs> the list you like the most or the country you want to you want to uh, see winning. This game on the left there is Pierre. You can vote for him by uh, taking the blue option and on the right there is Ronco and you can vote for him by taking the uh, pink option on the left is France on the right is Serbia this is game 5 of the round 2 group E of the XTC 2021 currently Serbia is leading 3 to 1 over France uh, I think I did not forget Anything, the title is correct. We are live, so yeah, let's go for it. Uh, you've got Rebellion versus Resistance, Duel of the Good Guys, and this will be Time, I believe. There you go, Time is uh, set. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, so. For this game, you have, as I said, Rebellion versus uh, Resistance. On the left, for France, you've got Wedge Antilles, with his uh, negating one agility uh, when he attacks, Crackshot, and obviously the foils. Janors, she can maintain up to two focus each turn. Um, and she adds a 3 attack dice primary front arc weapon by having Mold Crow. She has engine upgrade to perform white boost actions instead of red boost actions. And Janoris uh, reads, while a friendly ship in your firing arc performs a primary attack, if you are not stressed, you may gain one stress token. If you do that, ship may roll one additional die. So you could see Wedge rolling four or uh, any three attack dice ship rolling five at range one due to that ability. Cassian Endor. Crackshot Leia Organa, which allows you to perform red maneuvers. Well, you perform them at, as white maneuvers. Uh, once every three turns uh, because it is a three charges card and you recharge recurring charges so you recharge one each uh, a, um, end phase. At the start of the activation phase you may choose one friendly ship at range one to three. If you do that ship removes one stress that is Cassian's ability. Of course he's got the wings one, uh, one side of the card doesn't change anything. The other one allows you to rotate 90 or 180 degrees, uh, but you lose one agility. And you've got this little guy, the Bandit Squadron Pilot, the MVP. Each time. You cannot. Like, there's a curse. He is, he is the MVP. Um, he's the initiative one. So he may be the blocker on this uh, game. Um, on the other side of the table, you've got Rose Tico. Rose is re-rolling attack or defense die for each ship in the attack arc. So if Rose attacks and she has uh, one of one or more of her buddy, her buddies, sorry. On her arc, she may re-roll, and when uh, Pierre's ship will attack Rose, if uh, he is seeing more than Rose, she gets re-roll for that as well. Uh, Finn can add blank or uh, eye result by taking a string for eye results, um, and he has heroic. He's also a pod. And then you've got three X-Wings, a Red Squadron Expert, no ability, Heroic and the Foils. 
You've got Jessica Pava, I3 as well, the foils as well, and Jessica Pava can reroll by spending her charge, she can reroll up to uh, any number of dice for, uh, I mean, one, one die for uh, each friendly ship at range 0 1 of her. And then you've got Lieutenant Bastion also with the wings. After a ship at range 1 2 is dealt a damage card, you may acquire a lock on that ship. So now, now that you've got the lists, you can bet knowingly. <laughs> So anyway, um, you've got quite a separation happening right now for um, Ranko. He's choosing to split up the forces a bit. He sent uh, Rose Yellow X-Wing and Green X-Wing on the upper upper uh, corner of the um, the table and you've got Finn and uh, Lieutenant Bastion uh, going uh, to the middle but still you've got Pava uh, which is the uh, yellow X-Wing uh, in a good position because she could choose whether she goes straight or bank or she could like even do a three hard and be going hard at uh, Wedge or uh, Cassian. So yeah, pretty pretty good position here from uh, the resistance player. Although if you did not notice, Team Serbia leads by th two points and is up to three points so far. So if Renko wins the game, he also wins the whole round for Team Serbia. And for those wondering, there is a 90 seconds delay uh, due to uh, XTC regulation. Okay, so I did not see who was shooting. I believe this was Cassian. Cassian, sorry. Uh, he's shooting into red X-wing, which is uh, Lieutenant Bastion. And Bastion took three cards. No, three cards. Three shields already. Very good attack you are seeing how Janors can be real powerful. So I believe this is... Uh, I mean, this is I2s anyway, Bastion and Finn, so who is shooting? It is Finn shooting. Okay, he may add a I result to end up uh, getting two hits with the focus. Will he do so is the question. Because, yeah, he will do so, and the Z95 could end up attacking Finn. Uh, the Z95 will take one shield. There you go. But he will have a pretty good shot at Finn. And then, unfortunately, Bastion can only attack Cassian. And Cassian might be safe here with... Yeah, what if it? So that is good. So now the Z95 can take a shot. Who will he shoot at? That's the main question right now. So if you want to bet, you've got like one or two minutes left. So be sure you entered your your bets. Um, he is debating. He pinged red X-Wing, Lieutenant Bastion, but maybe considering... Yeah, he will shoot Finn as he's uh, strained, which is a good thing, because he will only get two attack die, two defense die, sorry. And this will be only one, but could end up... No, won't end up doing anything. Okay, so this is the end of the first engagement turn. Wedge might be in danger right now. Jan, uh, <coughs> Jan is kind of safe because uh, she does like a one straight maybe, and on further turns she will be able to uh, come um, 
come into the middle of the board. Uh, what could be problematic is a Wedge here, because Wedge is kind of blocking Jan, and you don't want to be blocking her for more than this turn. Uh, so you've got to be really uh, aware of what is going on here. The problem is uh, X-Wings are really, I mean, not the most maneuverable ships, but looking to this game, T-70 X-Wings are the most maneuverable ships. So you will have some problems. Uh, dealing with, uh, with such uh, maneuverable ships, because Cassian could eat some pain uh, after a 3-bank, for example, of uh, Lieutenant Bastion. I mean, there are more than one possibility, of course, but this could be dangerous. Uh, red X-Wing, red, X red Squadron Expert, sorry, so green X-Wing, actually, um, could hard three here, but the problem is Pava. Uh, so Rose is probably doing a two hard because she wants to have buddies in her arc. Um, Jan cannot go to the left of the gas cloud because <coughs> because the problem is uh, she wants to say to stay close of uh, anyone, I mean, close enough to be range 3, but you also want to be shooting at the same ships as your uh, wingmates, um, so it might be dangerous to make her go to the left of the gas cloud, though he, it might seem like a good idea, because you could have some clear shot at Rose, who wouldn't uh, yeah, she would get rerolls because you probably would be uh, looking also at maybe not Pava, depending on what she does, but maybe on to the red squadron expert. Um, yeah, tough choice. Uh, the question is, what do you do with Cassian? Cassian, sorry. Where do you go? What do you do with the bandit? You have some calls to make. Four straight, three bank. There is always this question remaining, and then the real question is how long will you uh, last with Wedge being alive? Because it it will be mattering. Uh, because Wedge can just like annihilate uh, uh, X wings as he uh, takes away their agility, which is already a bit low. So yeah, we'll see what Pierre and Ronco uh, decided in about like a few seconds. So we are playing bit, uh, played like 10 minutes, a bit more than 10 minutes, and we already had an engagement, which is quite fast. These gentlemen do not want to take their time. All right, all right. So, Cassian is removing, uh, I don't know which, which was the stress to, I believe this was Wedge. Did Wedge shoot? Did not see Wedge shoot. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, Finn is doing a two bank, three bank for the bandit. Bastion is doing a four straight, it seems, close the wings, so he may perform air rolls. So, just, just as a reminder, uh, T-70 X-Wings do close the wings to perform, um, to perform, um, I, I'm losing my words. I'm losing my words. Um, barrel rolls. Well, that was not a, such a complex one. Uh, they close the wings to perform barrel rolls, and they've got the 
boost on the card. But for Pierre and uh, Wedge, more particularly, he has to close the wings to perform boosts and can perform barrel roll as part of the card itself. Pierre needs a good block from the bandit and they all collapse on Jess Bava. Yeah, that would be the plan, but that did not happen as uh, you would expect. But you will be able to see this in like 180 seconds. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, okay. Cassian will bump into Bastian. Good block here from Franco. So, where did uh, Wedge go then? Did he one straight or one bank? Anyway, Jan is taking a lock onto Bastian. And Wedge did bump onto. Uh, onto Bastion, yeah. So Wedge will be the first to shoot. He is able to see Jessica Bava. But also Finn. Finn would be rolling two, which means it's not good enough. So you can roll against Bava and not using Jan's ability, or yeah, using Jan's ability. Oh, uh, yeah, he was uh, removing stress from John Lester. That's, that, that was stupid. <coughs> Obviously, when he was uh, removing stress from Jan, stressing herself to add a die. So, okay, he's still debating. Okay, dice, no dice. Yeah, okay. Jan is using her ability. Let's roll. Oh, that is not a good roll. Okay, nothing. You could spend, you could take, you could... She is taking... She's taking a shield. Jessica Papa down to two shields. Um, Cassian now? Why is Cassian taking a sh Oh no, it's... Sorry, it's, uh, it's Jan. Uh, do you want to reroll that with the lock or spend a focus? I believe you may as well reroll because focuses are better. Ah, I mean, you need to kill Bastion, but anyway, with four dice. Ah, uh, yeah, you are you are only doing three. But hey, Bastion will take all three. So yeah. She would have killed him, but anyway. They had some choice to be made. So now, as Ranko is first player, he will uh, shoot at initiative 3 for Pierre. So you've got wedge obstructed range three, or you've got um, Janors not obstructed, but also range three. Less than an hour to play now. Thank you for the follow, Sonebora. Welcome. Uh, two with. The focus being uh, spent here. This will be two for Jan if he spends, and he does. So nothing on Jan. So that was the Red Squadron expert. Now you've got Rose. She's got uh, yeah, she's got two ships in the attack arc, which is enough. Attacking Jan, I believe. She has one reroll. And she may spend, yeah, she will. So two. And Jan may be taking one or spending for two. Yeah, she spends for two, so no damage. But now the bank, the focus bank, is out of focus. But the thing is, there was no damage dealt. And Wedge is pretty safe where he is. Okay, so, well, <laughs> before Jessica Pavas shot, obviously. 
Let's go for that. Oh, so that will be three. Hoping for some result for Wedge. Doesn't get any, so Wedge is halved. And takes a crit. The crit is console fire, which won't be relevant this turn, but the next one, obviously. Um, console fire, console fire. There you go. Two shields down. There you go. Okay. Not looking good. Uh, so, three dice shot onto Jess that still has her reroll, and Cassian will do nothing at all. Looking very bad for the moment for the rebels. Finn is really safe where he is. Um, who are you shooting to? You've got range 3 on X Wing and Hulk. He's choosing range 1, so I believe this is on the Bandit. Oh man! And, you've go, and you go for from 3 hits, 3 dice to 4 hits. And if you don't spend, you die, so might as well. Uh, one shield and one hit on the Bandit. The Bandit will shoot now. No focus. And this will be a hit on to Pava. She's got her reroll, so might as well. And she's getting the evade. Did she? Was she in range of Rose, actually? I believe. I believe she was. Yeah, I believe she was. Oh. Okay, so going on the next turn, Pierre is still ahead. No, what? No, I. Oh, sorry. The overlay didn't. There you go. So no, that's that's Renko ahead for sure because the overlay didn't uh, update itself. So um, wedge is a three hole from dying. Um, the bandit is also halved and living on one. And uh, as Bastian was uh, collapsing onto wedge, he was not able to take a uh, target lock on him because. Uh, Bastion's ability only works at range 1 to 2. Uh, Finn did quite a good work here. 3 dice, 4 hits. That's It has been massive. Um, Pava lost a shield, but anyway, her potential has gone way too... <laughs> way too much. No, that doesn't work. That shouldn't work. Let me just... No, nope. after a ship at range 1, 2 is dealt a damage card. May acquire a lock. Which means that doesn't work, but if Pierre is not seeing this, I... Well, I cannot... I mean, Renko is the captain, so... I am not able to... Ugh. This is a tricky situation. The ability of Bastion should not work here. But I, I have no way to, uh, to tell them anyway, so... Okay, 52 minutes remaining. This could be a really uh, fast game. The question is, how can the rebel come out 
more or less alive from this situation. Correct the wedge graphic three hole. Yeah, it's done. It's done. I mean, yeah, you, you're you're speaking to to the uh, 180 seconds me to the 180 seconds past me. <laughs> so yeah, this is corrected. Um, okay, so everything is set. So I believe we are going to another turn right now. Jan is not in a good position and Leia will be used as well as Cassian's ability. So Leia popped out. There you go. The bandit... Uh, I don't know, that was like uh, one bank maybe? So yeah, one bank from the bandit. One bank as well from Finn. So Bastion is opening the wings, and he is talent rolling, obviously. That was a predictable move, I believe. And taking a stress. Finn is blocking the 4k of Wedge, which is kind of looking really bad. Uh, oh, Pava is going hard for Cassian, I believe. Rose, one banks. Yeah, this will be quite a punishing turn for the rebels, I believe. So Cassian is probably stopping. Yeah, he is. Zero stop, so this will be a focus action for him. Yep. Then this will be a focus for Jeanne, also stopping. And then you've got a 3 talent to the right wedge. It will clear and end up going range 1 of Lieutenant Bastian. Um, let me, let me, yes. there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, so this is wedge into, into Bastion, getting two, Bastion getting one, so dies anyway. Okay, so the problem of the target lock won't matter. Anyway, um, so Bastion died. Now his is the turn for Council Fire. I mean, this was before, but anyway, that doesn't change anything. Wedge gets a damage here, which is kind of bad, obviously. Wedge leaving on two uh, Genoars. Um, Janors will spend the focus to hit Pava, I believe. This looks like it's Pava because he was debating whether he rerolls or not. I believe this is Pava, yeah. Uh, oh, she takes both shields. Okay, she wants to be using her ability on offense. Because now is the turn where she shoots, and she is shooting Wedge. Looks like range... Range 1? Range 1? It is range 1, yep. Rerolling 2, getting 
four and Wedge will die here. Yeah, horribly. Because he rolls two uh, blanks. <clears throat> One, two. Uh, there was four actually, so he should be taking four. Oh, there was two crits? Oh, yeah, well, you know what? That doesn't change anything. Um, um, I believe this is Cassian shooting. No, this is, sorry, this is a red squadron shooting at, um, no, actually, yeah, this is a red squadron, or maybe Rose, actually. Yeah, this was Rose, shooting at uh, the bandits, uh, getting a kill. Oh, man, this will be difficult. It was a uh, no, stunned, but structural. Um, this is... Red Squadron Expert shooting at Cassian, I believe. Cassian getting nothing at all, so three shields. Yeah, this is getting really hard as he has no defense dice. Um, yeah, you've got basically two ships against the whole list, except Bastion. Uh, sh okay, he's getting the shot on to uh, Jess. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Uh, oh, very poor roll. Uh, two damage with the focus being spent. Or he's... I think he's debating whether he spends it or not. I believe at this point the game looks like it it's lost, so... You might as well spending don't like to roll <laughs> yeah, they did it, they did it uh i'm I don't understand what they are doing. Okay, they was they were. If Jan spent her sword or not, I believe she did. So yeah, she should be out of focus. Uh, so yeah, basically choosing whether it he spends or not, he does. Oh, she gets two. He's not using crack shot. I think he's a bit. I think he's a bit like. Might be upset of how the game is going, but he could have put one damage and get half of uh, Jessica. Oh man. Okay, strain yourself. And this is a crit going through anyway. And yeah, better. Might as well do this. Crit on Cassian. Structural damage, which is not a good one. Uh, yeah, yeah. This will be a short game, I believe, as we are going to be. Uh, like I think you can expect the game to end in two or three turns, I believe. Maximum. So Leia got one charge back. And yeah, he did not. Uh, yeah, he did not use the uh, the crack shot, which is kind of missed opportunity. It would have been one damage only because Jess rolled two natural evades, but still, it would have been twenty six points. There you go. They are recharged. Um, not in a not in a good position. I mean, Jan could go one bank left, but some X-Wing is probably going to be blocking this position, or maybe it could be Finn, actually. 
the question is where does Cassian go because if he doesn't stress himself might not be getting any shots so he might like choose a zero but if he chooses a zero and he uh, changes his uh, position which means uh, going uh, rotating uh, 90 or 180 degrees he is on zero agility because of the um, structural damage so yeah not looking good for the rebels not looking good for France either because Team Serbia will probably get the win this one Alright, alright, so what is missing? Renko seems like he's ready. And yeah, where are the X Wings going? I mean, you could 4K with Pava, you could. Oh, you could 3 Talon with Red Squadron Expert and block uh, Jan with this, but I don't know if it's the correct choice, on the other hand, because. Yeah, why not? Let, let, let's see what the players did. Okay, so. No stress for Jan, thanks to Cassian. One straight for um, Finn. Clears the strain, which is the most important. Not getting an action, but in this situation that was complex. Too hard from Ava. Uh, if Jan did a one bank, Pava won't be seeing anything, but might as well take a focus and stay here. One bank from green that bumps onto Cassian. One straight rose. It's focus. Cassian. He tried to move, I believe. And Jan did a one bank and will be taking a focus. So Finn shouldn't be able to shoot Cassian. Uh, and green, and green, yeah, green, green will, will be shooting uh, Jan for the same reason. So this is Jan going at, uh, I didn't see, but I think it was Pava. Um, okay, so getting two onto Jess. For a total of, we'll see. Oh no, it was on Finn actually. So Finn is taking two ahead and a crit, and the crit is a fuel leak. So Finn was the target. Hit crit, fuel leak, getting half of the big deal. Now that's four onto Jan, I believe. Yeah. And Jan will take two shield because they. Oh no, just two. Um, yeah, there was just two. So one shield. That one die was like. When moved, uh, changes uh, his face. So now this is Rose. Where is Rose shooting at? Uh, seems like it's Cassian. One hit can reroll two without any difficulty, but only gets one hit. Uh, should have one less agility, or it is maybe on Jan. So that doesn't change anything. Okay, the U wing will take a shot at. Uh, okay, so that's five dice. Because of uh, Jan, I don't know the target, but I believe this is Rose, as he doesn't have the choice. Uh, this will be a three hits, and you could spend the crack shot here if you remember. I think he, yeah, there you go, crack shot spent. So that's two on Rose and half of Rose as well, and crack shot gone on to Cassian. There you go. And 
Well, the final shot, you've got Finn at range 1 of Janors. Oh, Finn does 2. And Jan will take 2, which is the final shield. And a crit. This is a weapons failure. Oh, this is massive weapons failure. This was the last thing uh, Pierre had. It was his um, firepower, his uh, really huge amount of uh, red dice, but now with this weapon failure, that goes away with his, uh, probably his final winning chances. Uh, Leia is on 2, so not available this turn. Cassian took no damage this turn, as um, Ranko choose, chose sorry, to uh, focus on to Jen. Uh, now Pava can do a 3 Talon. Um, Red Squadron Expert could do a 3 Talon as well. So Pava on the right. The red squadron on the left. Uh, what is Rose doing here? What is Finn doing as well? Is Finn doing a one straight? Might maybe do a one straight. And Rose also doing a one straight, getting uh, Green and Finn in her arc to attack Jan, maybe. So the question is, where does Jan go? Is she going to the left? I mean, if Finn is not moving, does the three bank fit? Might be dangerous to, to try that. She kept her focus though, so she's got one focus in the, in the bank. Might be important might be relevant if she takes two shots or like spends one for attack yeah this will be probably the turn where you know if uh, Pierre's got a chance to come back or not from this because I think that's pretty much sealed but you never know on like some mysterious forces choosing Pierre as the winner. You could end up seeing Pierre win the game here, but I believe the next turn will tell us if this will be the case or not. 33 minutes remaining, and it seems like both players are ready to go. Okay, Jan gets her stress out because of Cassian. Finn is doing a four straight, goes over the cloud and takes a strain. And a stress because of uh, the red maneuver itself. Ava is doing a three talon, which means she is getting a reroll due to Finn's position, and she's got a stress because it was a uh, stress maneuver. And Red Expert is doing the same thing, a talent, this time to the left, and Rose is doing a one bank and bombing onto Cassian. What? Okay, Cassian is running out. Might as well. Uh, taking a focus and getting ready for next turn, Leia's activation. And Jan is going out of uh, everyone's arc as well. <coughs> so you've got a shot onto the Red Squadron Expert. I believe you are too far from Jess. I did not see that it was very fast. You've got two natural hits. And you've got nothing from the Red Squadron Expert, which means two more or less free shields because you did not spend your uh, last focus. 
Uh, Red Squadron Expert is taking a shot on to Cassian. He's having... Uh, now he should be only... Yeah, 1 plus 1 for the range, so that's 2. He's taking the single hit the X-Wing uh, had. Oh no, he's got the focus. Sorry, my bad. So yeah, spending the focus to avoid taking damage. Uh, but now this is the attack that is most likely hitting because of the rerolls. Oh man, this would be devastating. Hit and a crit, so this means one more crit, but yeah, this will be also this will also be another hit. So console fire for Cassian. And he has to roll this now because he engages after and ha takes one more. This is Oh man. This is Cassian living on one. Console fire. Yeah, Pierre is running out of of chance of this game. This has been devastating. Uh, Leia is available. If this is important. Um, yeah, I believe next turn will... Um, might not be the last because Jan is still alive. Though you will probably have Rose going at Jan. Jess going at Jan. Red Squadron Expert dealing with Cassian and Finn also putting some damage onto Cassian. So yeah, I believe you, you could see this future round being the, uh, the last round of the game, which would be the third round after we talked about like the game ending. I mean, I don't know, if, if Pierre wants to flee, he, he might as well, yeah, because of... Uh, uh, because uh, like he could run the whole remaining game, but like it's half an hour, so that would be uh, difficult for him to avoid taking damage for half an hour. Uh, yeah, but I don't see him like um, going out of this game without losing uh, the whole list. So he is uh, ready. To go, I think both player are or very close of being ready. Okay, so Finn, one of banks, takes a focus. Red squadron expert. No, it will be Rose first with a one bank towards uh, Janors. Pava as well, one bank, clearing the stress, taking a focus. She's got one reroll from Rose, and she will get another one from the Red Squadron Expert, that is also doing a one bank, clearing the stress, and taking a focus. So now the question is, where? what did Cassian do? Oh, he forgot to flip Leia, though I believe he might, might have said it. Uh, okay, so he's closing the wings. Rotating 180 or 90 degrees? That is the question. Okay, so let's see, let's see. At, okay, 180 degrees. Um, Leia is out of charges. Um, so it is a zero stop, but due to Leia, it is white, takes a focus with this. He's got two less agility, so he's defending well on zero, actually. One from the structural damage, the other one from uh, uh, the fact that he closed the wings. So who will be his target? I believe he is debating whether... Okay, this, so this will be um, Jess. Jan is doing a too hard, way too far from um, from Cassian to give him some additional attack dice. Um, so Jan is shooting. Does she have more than Rose in arc? Yeah, she does. So this um, this will be two rerolls for for Rose if. Uh, Jan attacks Rose, but no, he's choosing Jessica Pava. So range 3, 2, V, uh, 
2v3 then. Yeah, another two blank. Two blank, sorry. Two, no, no, two blank, two blank. <laughs> uh, okay. Red Squadron expert on to Cassian. And Cassian dies. Hit, hit, and a crit. Crit. <laughs> Direct hit. You never know. Uh, Rose will get two. With the focus, uh, Jan is evading quite well. Pava has a shot. It's got two rerolls and a focus. Using maybe the two rerolls. Yeah, sure does. And Jan is taking a crit. Oh no, she's got three, sorry. And she's not taking anything. Yeah. And now you've got Cassian. Engaging at the same initiative, taking a shot at... Oh, but it is obstructed though. Oh, but they did not notice. It's too fast. <laughs> That's why you take mods, right? To roll natties. Uh, she should have had uh, the third dice. So, uh, yeah. I don't think this will end up mattering because I don't think Jess is dying anyway, to be honest. So she's on one hole. I believe this will be a bit hard to kill uh to kill Jess anyway with her rerolls and her yeah, her ability basically and uh, the the uh, Focus. Uh, yeah, I think we will see uh, Jan pop out of the game right now. Um, what do you do with Red Squadron Expert? Do you 4K and just like wait for the next turn, maybe? I mean, at this point, you, 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 you already won the game, that's, that's for sure. But Seems like Pierre is ready. Is yeah. Okay, so too hard for Finn, taking a focus. One bank from Rose. I believe Pierre might have chosen the too hard to have the opportunity to to do a um, yep front arc attack. I mean, yeah, you could end up with uh, could end up with Jan taking Pava, taking like nothing, or you, yeah, that will be hard. See, we'll see. Uh, she'll take a focus and take a shot at Jessica. That will be four dice onto Jess. So if you do three, she dies. You do just what you need. Three dice, three hits, sorry. So Jess dies. By taking uh, two hits. Uh, Rose is doing two, and Jen evades only one, so that is one on to Jen. So this is all of Pierre's hopes remaining uh, on <laughs> one hole of Jan. The problem is, the next turn you have Rose, I think, will do a 3k. You've got Finn doing too hard to the left, and you've got the Red Squadron Expert going straight. 
clearing the stress and taking a focus, which means next turn will uh, probably be the last one. There are too many whole remaining. Uh, I mean, you could like try and three bank towards um, Finn. Maybe go out of Green's arc. Um, maybe go out of Green's arc if he went too fast. Uh, yeah, that could. Uh, you could like probably try and kill Finn like this. Okay, gets a focus. 3k from Rose, as expected. Gets a stress. And the guy is doing a two bank, oh, two straight, sorry, not bad. So, ah, uh, no, she chose two straight. Maybe the, oh, but yeah, she can, actually she can boost, so that's a good thing. So now, there is a 1v1 Finn against Jan Ors. Living on two for Finn, living on one for Jan. It is a four V2. The thing is, if you get four hits, you are still not sure of uh, killing Finn. Uh, do you spend here? Oh, this is a tough decision. You spend... Oh, man. Just strain yourself and take no damage. Because if you don't, you die anyway. So, yeah, taking no damage. And now Finn has the opportunity, I mean Rose first, and then Finn has the opportunity to finish the game. Oh, Rose is getting two. Natural hits. Two evades though. And now Finn. Finn is getting two. Yeah, he, he got strained the last round, so if she doesn't Natty evades, this is the end, and this is the end. Well, GG to both players, and GG to Serbia, winning the round, the whole round against uh, France. Uh, with uh, Ronko here uh, taking his personal win, he gets the win for Serbia, which means there you go. Serbia is up to four. France, one. And this is the end of the round. I mean, the end of the game for sure. And the end of the round as well, because we could have some victory. But even if we do, the round, the result is settled. Okay, so. Um, there you go, there you go, and there you go. Okay, so prediction is done. So this can go away. Okay. So anyway, she can go aggressively kill Finn and dodge green. She has time. <laughs> yep. She could have, she could have. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, Pierre played this really well, but Finn, like, destroyed uh, Jan. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching the stream. Hope you liked it. Um, there will be two more streams uh, before the round ends tomorrow. Um, this will be streamed by uh, Philip for the first one and by me for the second one. Uh, 1300 UTC for the first one, 1500 for this. No, that's no, actually, that's 15 UTC and uh, 17 UTC. My bad, I was confusing the timings. Um, so yeah, if you want to watch more of this uh, group stage, 
for France and Serbia, you can watch those two games happening tomorrow. One on uh, Holonet Serbia stream and one on this stream. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the games. Uh, thank you for the follows, for the subs, and for the support, and for your participation in the chat. See you tomorrow, and uh, have a good night.